Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing my monthly favorites. This month I am making up for August and September. August and September, you guys know I've been going through a little bit of a journey with my hair. Just a little bit. Dyed my hair blonde, I bleached it twice. Last weekend I wore it rose gold for uh, Generation Beauty. So I have been doing a lot to my hair and I wanted to kind of give you guys an idea of what I've been using to help keep my hair in the best condition possible. So I don't use the same product that I was before. Before I was using Tea Tree Tangle Shampoo from uh, Trader Joe's and the uh, conditioner I was using, I don't remember what conditioner I was using. Um, but I kicked those to the curb for now because I'm trying to do more moisturizing products. The Macadamia Moisture, oh, this is wet because it's been in the shower. Macadamia Moisture Shampoo and the Macadamia Nourishing Moisture Conditioner. So both of these are for, it says on here, ah, I'm getting water everywhere. For t medium to coarse hair, the benefits are they help, it helps to repair, strengthen, and mend hair free of sulfates, parabens, and gluten, color safe, and cruelty free. I wanted to try these out because I knew that my hair needed a lot more moisture and repairing when I'm washing it. And these products have really been helping to keep my hair manageable, which my hair has not been like dried too bad to the point where it's like feels like it's gonna break off. You guys, I'm pretty impressed to be real. Definitely not as bad as I thought it would be. You know, in my previous video, it's still super curly. Like my curls, in that video, I didn't have any gel in my hair. So that's how you know my curls are still like holding on for dear life because they, they have not changed. In fact, I feel like they've gotten curlier since I've gone blonde. Also, um, to help with my hair, I don't have it with me, but I used an ion protein treatment. I'm gonna find the name and put it in the description box, but it's the Ion Protein. It's like a deep conditioner, but it has protein in it to help rebuild protein in your hair. Um, so that helped a lot with pop in my curls. I've been using coconut oil to deep condition as well and almond oil, but I prefer almond oil because it's not as greasy feeling, you know, but they both do a really great job in restoring my curls and keeping them hydrated. Recently, I've really been loving this product by Vanity Planet and this is the Vanity Planet. This is the shampoo brush by Vanity Planet. So I don't want to turn it on because it's probably going to like shoot water everywhere. You massage your head with it. It vibrates to make sure that you're, you're getting like your scalp as clean as possible. I don't have to use so much of my fingers to scratch my head while I'm washing my hair, which I have a bad habit of doing because I have dandruff. Instead of going in and scratching my head like crazy and making scar tissue, I just decided to use this. And this is like flexible silicone. Um, bristles on it so it's not gonna damage your head as much as like scratching with your nails it gets my scalp really clean and it also helps to get rid of dandruff problem which I haven't had dandruff since I've been using this like I haven't had bad bad dandruff at all so this has been changing my scalp and I love it last hair product that I want to talk about is the lot of body uh, with coconut and shea oils wrap me foaming mousse and you know I got it from the beauty supply store because it has the orange price sticker on it I love this stuff as you can see I've used half of the bottle I've been using this for a month now and I love it I've actually been using this more than my eco styler gel which you guys know I use to do my slick down so instead of using that to get my ways and my slick down you know um, super nice and flat I like to go in with this first using this has definitely helped to keep my hair from being so so dry I squeeze it throughout my hair and I just brush it down with a Denman brush it also helps to make more of a uniform wave pattern when I slick my hair down instead of it just being slick and pulling my curls straight. It doesn't make it crunchy. Um, it still leaves it soft. It has a nice smell. These are technically makeup products, but they're not for your face. I recently got some new products um, and they were sent by Say Hello to Sexy Legs. It's a new product at Sephora, but it is basically just a product that I feel like is a universally flattering product. Now, a lot of people ask me about the Glean by Melanie Mills and how transfer proof it is um, and would I suggest using it like all over your body to get the glow without getting it all over your clothes. I tried this one and I like this one a little more because it's a glow gel as opposed to a liquid kind of product. So I feel like as a gel, it sets better on the skin. It doesn't come off as easy, but this is the color. But then when you rub it in, it just gives you a nice like, do you see that? It gives you a nice sheen so on darker skin tones it's more of like a bronzer it just helps to like bring out those golden undertones and that are already in your skin so I really like this 
Also, the smell is freaking amazing. It is formulated with caffeine and green tea to help fight the appearance of cellulite, and it moisturizes and softens skin while covering imperfections and evening skin texture. And it's also no parabens, no mineral oils, and no phthalates. Phthalates lights. So they sent me this product. They sent me a contour stick, but I haven't used the contour stick. They've also sent me the illuminating fluid, which is leg highlighter, and it has caffeine and green tea, green tea in it as well. It's like a highlighter for your body. That's the color. That seems like really like extra, but let me just show you like what it looks like when you blend it in. So that's what it looks like. It's just a body highlighter, and you can put this on like your shoulders or your decollete. I put this on top of this. They both dry to a nice flat finish so it's not like they're super greasy or anything. Look at that, that's beautiful. It's like liquid chrome. When my legs are freshly waxed though, you can't tell me nothing, okay? Nothing. This is the Inglot Duraline. Basically the Jesus Drops. Any product that gets like crusty over time, you can put this in that product and it'll change your life. Like I use this in my dip brow because dip brow has a tendency to dry out over time. I've also used this with the ColourPop cream pots, like the color cream pots. They're really hard to spread evenly and it's hard to get that product out of the jar. So I recently tried one of those cream gel pots with this product and it worked so much easier. I was able to get it on my face without it being like cakey or hard to move. Um, it makes any cream or powder product into a liquid. So yeah, I mean, just think of the uses. Yeah, I really love this one. This is the Hourglass Vanish Foundation Stick. I've been trying it out off and on while I was doing my other Foundation Friday videos, but I've still yet to make a Foundation Friday video on it because I wanted to make sure that it was you know, what I thought it was. And I won't say that it's better than the Anastasia Stick Foundation. I won't say that it's better than the Urban Decay Foundation that I reviewed, but I just feel like this one, out of all of them, is my personal favorite. I would see myself wearing this every day. I would see myself using this more than I would use those. The Urban Decay is great, but it's it's for occasions. It's for like special occasions, you know what I mean? And the Anastasia stick, the only reason why I won't say it's better than this one is because one, it's not full coverage, and two, I don't have the right color yet. So once I get that color, I will compare these two and see which one I like better. But for the most part, I'm really enjoying this. So I'm not gonna talk too much about it because I'm gonna make a review on it if you guys want me to, but I really do like this one. I feel like it's beautiful on the skin. It's cre I'm wearing it today. It's creamy, It the color match is great. I like that it's like a triangle. It just, it buffs out so nicely. It's full coverage, but it doesn't make me oily. Um, it doesn't cake up. It doesn't, it just really, really, really like it. And I'm gonna make a review on it. That's gonna be coming soon. Don't worry, hold your britches, I got you. Two concealers that I've been loving, well not two, one concealer, concealer that I've been loving. And this has basically been my favorite concealer for the past two months. I got this product when I got my Urban Decay Foundation. So I've had it since, uh, I've had it since August. I know I've had it since August. I love it so much. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Natural Radiant Concealer. And it's so beautiful. I personally think it's one of the best hydrating concealers um the coverage is great but it is infused with coconut water amazing for under eyes if your under eyes are dry or if you experience a lot of creasing i feel like this helps to reduce the dullness and dryness under the eyes it's comparable to the um to the nars creamy radiant concealer which you guys know everybody loves but I feel like this one's a little bit more hydrating. When you put it on your skin, you can tell because it's like really shiny. Once it's set, it's fine. It doesn't shine or anything like that. I haven't noticed any type of um, slipping and sliding off of the face. It just sets really nicely. It's a really beautiful concealer. I have the color Deep Tan, but I also have the color Tan. Tan is a little bit lighter, so I think in the wintertime, this will be a perfect shade for me. This one is really good for me right now because it's a little, it's not too bright, so it's a little more on the natural side, but I really do like it. Oh my goodness, I just, I freaking love these concealers. They're so beautiful. They go so nicely on the skin. I just, you guys know I live for a good skin product, so, and they feel so nice. I don't get dry. Ugh. They're gonna be really great for the winter time. I can already tell they're gonna be super great for the winter time. Of course, you guys know I had to talk about it. The Taraji products, the MAC Taraji products, 
first of all, let me just say that I've been really feeling Mac's entire PR game is, is stepping up. Like, they've been sending out some really nice PR packages. And let me just tell you guys, I was not expecting that because I really didn't think that Mac was going to be on this whole sending bloggers and promotional items out train like I didn't think that they were going to do it but they did it and they're killing it when I first heard that Taraji was going to have a line with Mac I was like okay yeah that's that sounds like me I'm getting it um and then when I got it in the mail I was like okay yes this is awesome let me make a video and then I made the video and everybody was really excited about it um and then Taraji posted my picture on her Instagram which <laughs> I just thank god and also jesus and then i got to go to the mac store in chicago and meet her and two other cast members from empire i don't really watch empire but i mean either way shout out to mac shout out to taraji shout out to all of y'all shout out to your mother shout out to your father of course you guys know i have to talk about this blush which is not highlight the truth this is taraji glow and this is highlight the truth i've used both of these products like every single day since i got them I love them. I love mineralized skin finish products anyway because mineralized products are just so beautiful. The only gripe that I have with these products is that I've heard a lot of people say that they have the same issue I did, which is the labeling is wrong. These are not labeled right. I don't know which one is Highlight the Truth. I don't know which one is Taraji Glow. I don't know, but I love both of them. So I don't know what to tell you guys. I'm sorry. If you got the wrong product, I don't know if it was me or Mac. I don't know, but I'm going to apologize on my behalf and their behalf because I'm not really sure to be totally honest with you I don't know so I've been loving all of Makeup Geek's products I've never tried Makeup Geek products before this is my first time so I've really been enjoying them to the fullest also not to say that I don't love Makeup Geek because I really really love Makeup Geek like I've been following her ever since I first started YouTube back in 2010 so I, I don't know why I've never invested in any, any of the eyeshadows or blush pans um, but let me just say marlena you're doing it you're killing it clearly i've been missing out my favorite product would have to be covet blush which is this blush pan right here it's a beautiful blush i have it on today i also really like this blush which is chivalry um and then the contour color that i've been using warm medium one this is half-hearted so just in case you guys wanted to try out some makeup geek stuff i would highly suggest it like go on the site and buy everything because it's all amazing and then the last product is a highlighter and i've been using this highlighter called churro which i love churros so i was immediately going to buy this anyway because i love churros and it's by ColourPop, of course who else has the white packaging this is one of my favorite highlighters by them it's so pretty it's like a pinkish champagne color but it's like a tie-dye so it's got a little bit of like an iridescent like gold in there too it's just beautiful all the way around. I've been wearing it nonstop and it slays. It slays, slays, slays. This is the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lips. Um, this one is in Lychee Me and this one is in Fudged. Now I don't really have a whole lot of Ultra Glossy Lips. Thus far I've been kind of pleased with them. My only gripe about these would be that they are not opaque at all so if you're looking for something that's a little more has a little more color to it i would suggest going for like a nyx intense butter gloss or something like that um but i do like these i feel like they're great for every day they're really nice um and these are part of the k-pop extension line that just came out like last month i think i'm wearing fudge so i've been wearing this one like almost every day like i wear this all the time my shoe favorite by shelly london shelly's london and these are like really shiny oxford kind of shoes but they're a platform i think they're super cool in the month of august i feel like i overwore them I, I think they go with everything i think they're awesome you guys should definitely check them out if you can i think i got these from nordstrom so if you like oxford shoes i think they're super cute i think oxford shoes are cute for the fall because they remind me of school because i used to wear oxfords every day with my plaid skirt and my knee highs and my cardigan when i went to private school so i just think they're cute i don't know i like them a lot also another favorite shoe of mine would have to be these clear heels from public desire i've been wearing these a lot and i feel like they're super cute they go with everything obviously because there's like nothing on your foot and um they're pretty inexpensive of course they have the nude ones too and so if you don't want the black but they were sold out of the nude when i got these so but yeah that's it i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did give me a thumbs up i don't have anything else to talk about um 
I don't yeah I don't have anything else to talk about so I will see you guys on my next video I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon bye